This is like the perfect introduction into what Boris is capable of. Today's video, we're going to be talking about his kit and breaking down this specialist. But for now, let's just enjoy the clip. As you can see, I'm just trying to survive right now. Dipping and diving, going to juice up. This guy's going to shoot me through a cloud. Just kidding. No, you can't because you can't see me through the smoke. But you know what can? My turret. Look at that. I can see you too, buddy. And you. Yeah, I can't hit you very well because I'm bad and all, but I can see you really well. And that's what the turret can provide. So in the right hands, you can do some nasty things with Boris inside of Boris Field 2042. Now, I have to be honest with you. The kit is definitely a controversial one, and we'll talk about that a little bit towards the end of the video. Some people really do not like Boris, and I'll explain why. But for now, guys, if you're enjoying the content, please leave a thumbs up as it really helps the videos get out there further. And subscribe and tick that bell for more 2042 content. So let's go. Boris is a very colorful specialist and one of my personal favorites. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset with me about that, but I honestly, I don't even rank Boris in the top five. That being said, I understand the frustrations. I understand why people consider him extremely annoying. And I get it, right? Because the whole thing surrounding around his kit is remarkable. We'll talk about that towards the end of the video about the, I guess, the overall frustrations with his character. But for now, let's talk about what he actually does. He has a sentry turret that you can place down on a flat surface, and this thing will survey an area, find a target, shoot at the target, the end. That's what it does, right? We've seen sentries and drones and things like this in other video games. This isn't new. Um, that being said, the highlighting is very aggressive. That's where the strength of the whole thing comes from. So when he locates a target, he highlights them, just as you saw in that original clip. I was going to die in that clip. I would have been lucky to get one kill coming through the smoke and into an open area without any cover and four of them having cover and debris they're behind, I would have died 100% if I didn't use that turret the way that I did. And that is where the strength of the turret comes from. And that's one of the only tips I can give you in today's videos. I love helping you guys in some of these specialist reviews. The one tip I can give you is use smoke grenades with his kit. It does see through smoke, so it can highlight enemies and basically mask you. It's like a veil, if you will. And more importantly, you can throw it directly next to your turret because it is very squishy. That's one of the big drawbacks of the turret is that it can be killed in like half of a mag from almost any gun. So if you smoke it, it's going to be harder for them to know exactly where the shots are coming from. It does, however, need some tweaks, but that's what the sentry does. You place it down, it shoots. And for that reason, uh, it's an extremely flexible and adaptable playstyle. You can place it down. You can work alongside it, just like you saw in that clip. I can place it down and use it aggressively defensively passively it doesn't matter uh 99 of boris users kind of play defensively and passively and they set it down and they just let it do its own work and they cross their fingers he gets a kill uh that's honestly why i don't think that boris is that big of a deal is because most people don't even know how to maximize what he's capable of they don't know how to implement and really capitalize on how strong that aggressive highlighting is so what about his passive I think it's doo-doo. I don't like it. I don't think it works really well. I would like to see it buffed. And honestly, yeah, you heard me say it. I would like to see the range on that extended. I don't like how restrictive it is. I have to basically sit right next to it. And I don't like that. I think that's just... It doesn't give enough strength to, to validate me sitting right next to this thing. And it means I have to put it on a corner or right on an edge. And then I got to stay near it. And I don't like how restrictive that is. And I'd like to see an entire passive rework. Or I want to see that range expanded, you know, 10, 15 meters or something so that I can at least place it down in an area and still use kind of some of the surrounding cover around me and have a little bit of flexibility and not feel tied down. That way I'm going to get destroyed by a grenade or anybody coming through knows right where I am. Um, that being said, the turret will likely see some sort of a change in the future. I feel like its range is a little too generous. I feel like because of how strong that highlight is and the reveal, I think they are going to probably chop some meters off of the edge of that. And I think that's a healthy reduction for the gun. Uh, it does have two other bucks that it currently is going through, and honestly, it gives it too much strength. Uh, it, it needs better line of sight traction, right? It needs to be able to be aggressive within line of sight. Right now, it'll even target people through, like, walls. And uh, that it's not super common, but it does happen. And that is clearly an issue. Something shouldn't be spotting somebody through a wall like that. It's unrealistic, and that should definitely change. Uh, and the hitbox on it needs to be changed, too. I mentioned previously that it's a very squishy tool in your kit and it is it can die really easily but there's also a lot of parts of the actual turret itself when you're trying to shoot it and you're trying to kill another boris turret that it, it just your shots are going to go straight through um so i think they really need to rework the hitbox on that too and so those are about three things that i think are going to be changed and tuned to bring boris down in line because if we have to face it and we have to be honest and this is where uh the general frustration for boris comes from is it's just a very easy thing to place down that's all you do you place it down 
no effort, but it'll highlight your enemies, it'll shoot at them, even potentially kill them for you. And on the receiving end of that, that's annoying because that person did nothing to earn those kinds of advantages. And I know there's advantages, that's what the specialist and the gadgetry is for, but for how easy it is to use, it's wild. I, however, love the kit, and I'm going to continue to play Boris because I find extreme fun and value out of thinking about how to utilize that turret. Do I place it over here? Do I place it over there? How do I want to attack this objective? And that level of thinking really excites me. It adds something new, something that I'm not used to doing, and I basically makes me look at every objective and gauge the situation, gauge the scenario. How do I want to push on this? I have a turret I can leave right here. Is this going to give me the right line of sight? Is this going to cover this back line for me? Should I use it to protect my flank? Should I use it to just cover this left side and I attack from the right and we kind of pinch? What do I do with it? And I think that extension of me, I think the ability to play something like that really adds a unique level to me. And I find it extremely enjoyable for that honest addition to the playstyle. It lets me think about how I can get creative with the combination of myself and that turret. And I think that's neat, and that's what I love about it. And I know everybody is going to be kind of frustrated with that, but I'm having fun with it. And that's all these are supposed to be about. It's about to be fun. If you guys have anything to add, tips and tricks or something you would give to other future Boris players, please leave them down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think he's busted? Do you think you want to see him removed? How would you fix the turret? Do you think it's fine how it is? Comment section is for your feedback. Thanks again for sharing part of your day with me, and I will see you tomorrow with another video.